Hey Adam, my name's Sean Charlesworth. I am coming to you from the NYU Film and TV Repair Shop where I have been the head technician for about the last nine years. Um, so I'm in charge of fixing all the cameras, audio gear, cables, grip, lighting, whatever is broken I take care of and there's a lot of broken stuff. So I was in pretty good troubleshooting and mechanical skills and a nice shop in the middle of Manhattan. Um, However, what I'd like to talk to you today uh, about is uh, some 3D printing stuff. I also have a master's in 3D imaging and design where I concentrated in uh, modeling and printing. And this is my, was my thesis, which I'd like to show you. It was um, actually up on the tested site. Norm posted it a little bit ago, and it was at uh, Maker Fair New York last year and in their 3D printing issue, uh, where it was a pretty big hit. So, I think you'll like it. I know you like steampunk stuff, so I thought it'd, it would appeal to you. Uh, but before I get to that, there's one other little thing that I need to show you that I think that you'll also like, which is another one of my prints, which is this guy. You may recognize the Buckaroo Banzai jet car. This was one of the first things I did. I always wanted a jet car when I was a kid, and it, it needed to be made. So it's pretty movie accurate. Uh, I got a lot of screen grabs and reference material and tried to make it as close as possible. Doesn't go through solid matter, but that's all right. All right, jet car. Now, Octopod, the main, the main show. Um, this was my master's thesis. Uh, I designed this from scratch and built it in 3D, and then I printed all the pieces out on a really nice printer that can do dual materials at the same time. And then I hand assembled it because I made this to go together like a traditional toy. So lots of pieces held together with screws. Um, and you know, I was very inspired. I wanted a very nuts and bolts, steampunky uh, feel to it. Uh, I was really inspired by Disney's 20,000 Leagues. The Nautilus is amazing. And these guys could like hang out or fight or whatever. When I did this, I knew that the tentacles had to really come alive. And because I used this printer that did multiple materials, it can print in rubber, which is crazy. So these, the tentacles, have a rubber core and rubber suckers, and the knuckles are plastic. So it allows this to be flexible, but hold a lot of detail and be strong. So when they come out of the printer, they're actually pretty floppy, like you'd expect a tentacle to be. But then I put armature wire down the middle, and so you can pose these and you get some really nice dramatic poses and really smooth motion. And then because they still have that rubber, they got a little bounce to them still, which just, it just really worked well. Other things that, that, that I considered, or considered while doing this was, you know, if this was a toy that I had when I was a kid, like what would be in it, what would be cool? So it has to have removable body panels. So they're magnetic and they pop off. It has a, a working hoist that you can slide back and forth and crank up and down. There's a hook. It's like, this has to have a really cool way for the divers to bring the salvage in and out. So I designed this irising door that opens and closes and allows access to the hold area. Uh, the cockpit, which has a, a full light up console and a radar, uh, has embedded LEDs inside of there. And then the little captain's chair, which can swivel it around. The engines which have something oddly similar to a flux capacitor on them. The panels in the floor also pop up and allow access to the uh, smuggling compartments. And the back door here opens up and is the head. And it's also where the light switch for the LEDs are. And there's a bunch of wiring and, and screws and stuff hidden back there as well to hold this whole thing together. And the uh, a little nerd note, the grating in the floor there is based off the grating in the Death Star. So this is interesting because the way this printer works is uh, due to the way I designed it and that it can do dual materials, uh, this all comes out like this. So all the rivets and the different colors just print out like that. There's very few things that are actually stuck on after the fact, um, which is pretty amazing uh, because I didn't have time to paint this. So I wanted it to look as good as possible right out of the machine. Uh, so it took extra work to do that, but the, the extra mile was worth it because it, it looks very striking just right out of the printer. So anyway, the Octopod Underwater Salvage Vehicle. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I am really good at sweeping floors and organizing nuts and bolts, so we should talk. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.